My name is Jeff Hunt. I'm the program director for the child psychiatry program and triple board program at Brown University, which is affiliated with uh, Bradley Hospital, Hasbro Children's Hospital, and Rhode Island Hospital. And we're in the Pine Room where uh, we have a variety of historic pictures of the namesakes of this hospital. From here, we'll go visit some other parts of our hospital, both here and at Hasbro. You'll see some of our talented faculty, including Dr. Potter, Dr. Matar, Dr. Willis, Dr. Brannon, and some of our fellows as well. And look forward to meeting you all in person soon. And uh, thank you for watching. Emma Pendleton Bradley was a only child of George and Helen Bradley who was born in the late 1800s and unfortunately was afflicted with encephalitis and also had some behavioral uh, challenges and they looked uh, long and far to try to find some place to have her be helped and they couldn't find one. So. Um, upon their deaths, um, they had a trust fund that was designed to take care of patients like Emma um, and it founded uh, Bradley Hospital uh, from that. And in 1931, this building uh, was erected. A lot of his financial legacy went toward this hospital and has uh, been a uh, historic and a very impressive place to work ever since. The fellowship began in uh, 1953 and was accredited by ACGME in 1960. It has gradually expanded in scope in terms of who is treated here over the last many decades. And currently, Bradley Hospital and Hasbro Hospital are active affiliates for the, the fellowship and the triple board program. It's also important to note that the, the mission of, of academics and teaching and uh, clinical work have been there from the beginning. So that mission of you know, combining clinical work, um, education, and research has continued. Research faculty at, at Bradley and Hasbro have uh, this past year a combined um, research portfolio of about uh, $19 million. Uh, so the trainees who come here have a access to very talented faculty um, who are very engaged and invested in, in your education. So Bradley Hospital has um, expanded in the last 15 to 20 years and part of that is due to our affiliation with Lifespan uh, which is a corporation that uh, involves several hospitals and other settings. That also involves our Bradley School, which is now called Lifespan School Solutions. Uh, our residents and fellows will also rotate through that service, which is in uh, all of Rhode Island and Connecticut. I'm Ornella Potter. I am the uh, unit chief of the Adolescent Inpatient Unit. One of the things that I that I tell the trainees um, is that what's unique about uh, this, the program is the you know the opportunity to be exposed to so many things uh, to um, come to an inpatient unit that is just specific for adolescents um, where they they are going to be able to treat so many disorders the opportunity to um, be able to go to a children's program the opportunity to work with um, kids with developmental disabilities, kids that have bipolar disorder, um, first break psychosis, um, uh, chronic PTSD. So the fellow can also be um, working with uh, directly with the psychologist who can expose them and to CBT, DBT um, work. Um, and also they can be exposed to a lot of like the neuropsych um, testing if they are interested in uh, being part of that. Obviously, the trainees will be um, leading the team. Uh, a social worker um, who will be doing most of the family work, but if the trainee is wanting to be exposed to family work and be in wanting to do the family work, they're able to do that. Uh, psychologists who will be doing individual work, and again, the, the trainee is able to do some in the individual work.
It's a place for kids to get better, but it's also a place where kids can be kids as they need to be. My name is Krista Belgrave. I am a first year child and and psychiatry fellow here at Brown. What made me decide to choose Brown and Bradley were really my experiences during second year of residency. My experiences working with the teams, working with patients, seeing the way in which everyone works together on behalf of the patient and with the patient left a mark on me and how I think about wanting to be a provider. Walking onto the unit here at Bradley Hospital, you wouldn't think that you're at an inpatient child psychiatry hospital. You know, the rooms are, you know, blue and pink and yellow. They're large windows. They're, they're rooms that, for learning, for education, that could look like, you know, a day-to-day -day classroom, not necessarily a hospital. There's not another place quite like Bradley to learn to become the physician that you're going to be, the psychiatrist you're going to be, and I'm, I'm really excited to be here and I hope to share that with you. I think as an applicant in Child and Adolescent Psychiatry Fellowship, you are faced with a hard decision because there are many excellent programs around the country. I'm Dr. Beth Brannon. I'm a Child and Adolescent Psychiatrist here in the OCD Partial Program at Bradley Hospital. And I also am the Associate Program Director for the Triple Board Residency Program and the Child and Adolescent Psychiatry Fellowship here at Brown. The clinical care, the education, the research opportunities, the advocacy work is stellar and you're doing it all with people who you like to be around, who um, share your passions, who share your interests, who are good kind souls, um, and who you want to grow and learn with. The OCD program here at Bradley Hospital is remarkable and really one of a kind in the country. We are a program that started in 2013 and has grown every year since. The program is designed around a model that really takes the treatment to where OCD and anxiety disorders live, whether that's in you know, a child's life in their home, whether that's in a child's life in their school or out in the community or with their friends. So in the OCD program, children come to, to Bradley Hospital and outside of program hours, we then also do home visits where our staff go with patients to their homes or to their schools or out in the community to do exposure therapy for whatever anxiety disorder or obsessive compulsive symptoms they may have. What I think makes Brown particularly special is not only are you getting excellent clinical education and clinical experiences across an incredibly wide variety of settings, freestanding child and adolescent psychiatric hospital, a children's medical hospital with a medical psychiatric program, really innovative partial hospital programs that are more numerous than most places, I would say. You're also getting friendship and a family and a group of people who don't want you to be what they want you to be, they want you to become who you want to be, the child psychiatrist that you want to be and the educator and the researcher and the advocate that you want to be. Hasbro Children's Hospital is a remarkable children's hospital to train in. It is, as a freestanding children's hospital, a, a fun and child-centered place to be. Um, the pediatrics residency program and the whole residency group there are phenomenal. I'm Mirabel Matar. I'm a co-director at uh, CELIA 6, which is one of the units at Hasbro Children's Hospital. It's a med psych unit, uh, for lack of better words. So we treat um, a lot of uh, psychosomatic illnesses, eating disorders, um, patients with comorbidities, such as, for example, diabetes, type 1 diabetes and depression. It's a, primarily a psychiatric unit. My name is Matthew Willis. I'm a child psychiatrist and a pediatrician here in the Hasbro Partial Hospital Program, and I'm one of two co-directors of the program. The Hasbro Partial Program uh, is a medical and psychiatric pediatric partial hospital program, meaning that the kids that are in our program come for kind of a combination of physical and emotional issues. The patients probably sort of, you can think of them as coming in, in two main categories. On the one hand, we have our sort of dual diagnosis, medical and psychiatric coexisting diagnoses. As an example of that, cystic fibrosis and anxiety, diabetes and depression. 
On the other hand, we also have patients that come with what are called somatic symptom disorders, where what they're presenting with physically is one part of the same emotional presentation, meaning underlying emotional distress precipitating physical symptoms. This is a program overall in which there really is a, a, a living and vibrant relationship across the different disciplines um, in which the trainees here interact. In order to run um, either a triple board or a child fellow program that is uh, th that has a med psych focused exposure for trainees, you really do have to have relationships between pediatrics, child psychiatry, and adult psychiatry. The strength of those relationships across those disciplines is one of the primary factors that keeps me glued to this work and to this institution. My name is Wyvern Aswad, I go by Doc. I am currently a second year resident here in the Triple Board program. Being here on the Hasbro Partial Program, we get this opportunity to have direct supervision from established and well-trained psychologists and psychiatrists, and really awesomely, some of the Triple Board alum. You know, on Mondays and Fridays, you sort of bookend the week with rounding on every patient, but throughout the middle of the week, you spend more time working on each individual pod. Uh, so you get a real chance if you have a patient who's in uh, one group, you get to really dive deep with that one patient, talk about them on rounds with the multidisciplinary team of nutritionists, um, nurses, milieu therapists, as well as the physicians, both the uh, psychiatrists and the pediatricians, as well as the psychologists. One of my personal passions is advocacy, and so I've made sure to build that into my life here in Providence, uh, and, and finding ways, finding existing avenues here at the, in the program, and but more than anything, being able to take those passions, come to program leadership, say I have an idea, and be able to, to run with it. Uh, the cool thing about being here in the partial program is that it's well designed so that it's a little bit removed from the rest of the hospital, allows people to focus in on their own, their needs, and being able to pay attention to uh, just what young people need when they're here. And one of those needs is you kind of look around this actual outdoor courtyard space that we had. Think about one particular young man that I was with. He loved to meet me here on the basketball court try to shoot hoops even though I'm a terrible basketball player, but it was a way to connect. Or another way that we would do is just um, engage, almost doing a kind of a, a trade, like 10 minutes of conversation for two minutes of chasing me around on the grass. Um, and, and, and just being able to think about like, how do you use your space to meet young people where they are? So one thing for sure, being a native Californian coming out to the East Coast for the first time living on the East Coast, uh, definitely had me thinking about how am I going to adjust to this so-called ocean state. I'm used to beaches, these are new types of beaches here. But I actually have found that being in Providence itself is just a wonderful city, particularly especially if you're going to be in the Northeast. It's a very diverse city, you get a lot of languages, uh, a lot of people, uh, particularly um, from different parts of the African diaspora. Uh, and then as you get to know the city itself, you get to fall in love with the food scene here. Great places to be able to, to meet new friends, hang out with colleagues. And if you ever feel like you just need a booming metropolitan, you have Boston to your north and New York to your south. So it's pretty awesome.